Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the Dollar Tree haul. My store finally got these nicer bags um, and so I thought I would display it maybe for a thumbnail. But anyways, in today's video I'm going to be doing a stocking stuffer haul. I spent $70 at this trip to the Dollar Tree for stockings for kids who are not even my own, but I am making stockings for five kids. Um, all on Jose's side of the family. So I have a three-year-old boy, an eight-year-old boy, a girl who is in sixth or seventh grade, a boy who's in eighth grade, and then a girl who's a freshman in high school. And I've already put some of these items into a gift basket, which I made a video about. So I will link that below if you want to see those items. So this is minus like 10 items or so. Um, but I did kind of group this off to make it a little bit easier to show you guys. And I don't really want to start off with candy because no one cares about candy, but I think that I'm going to. So it's a little bit difficult to shop for kind of like a teenage boy at Dollar Tree, quite frankly. Um, there's like so many knickknacks for the younger kids, but for teenagers, not so much. So I did get him this humongous um, bottle of Humex. Jose loves this, and I'm sure that his cousin loves this too so I got him this um I also found several different kinds of candy canes I only picked up two kinds though so I got the sour warhead ones you get six I also got these paw patrol ones that are shaped really uh cute you get three of those I got two packs of the pop rocks candy these are you can pull these apart and put them into separate stockings which is what I plan to do. I got these kind of value packs of candy to split among the stockings. I got dots. You need gumdrops for Christmas, right? Um, I got four of these peppermint bark bars. I got these honey roasted peanuts for the older boy's stocking. I got Sour Patch Kids for his stocking. And then the last candy item that I found I think is pretty cool. They are these mini carnival pops. So these are like those really large suckers that are more like a novelty item but in a smaller version so they can actually eat them. I thought these were so cool. Um, you get eight of them so you could easily split these among stockings if you wanted to. Okay, now I'm going to show you what stockings I actually picked up. Maybe I should have done that first. I got this one for the oldest boy. I got this one for the girl who is in like seventh grade. I should know what grade she is in. It's either sixth or seventh grade. I got this one for the Jose's niece who is a freshman in high school. It's very pretty. This is probably one of my favorite stockings that I've seen from Dollar Tree so far. I got this for Jose's nephew who is eight, seven or eight. I honestly don't, it's hard to keep track with all the kids, you know? Um, and I thought this was really cute um, and just kind of fun for a kid that age. And then the last one is this Paw Patrol one. Um, it's double-sided and it's kind of like um, a reusable tote bag material so I'm sure he will carry this around because he loves Paw Patrol. Forgive me my wing is fading this makeup is from earlier today like 8 a.m. and it's it's like close to 6 or 7 o'clock at night now. Okay we're getting through this much quicker than I thought. Um, these next items are for the girls. So like I said, there's a seventh grade girl and a freshman in high school. So I kind of got them some of the same things and some different things because they're, you know, they're different ages. So some things are appropriate for one and not the other. So for the freshman, I got her this weekly planner. This is really cute. Um, it's just like a pocket planner. And then for the Younger one, I got her this journal. It says, live your life in color, and this is something that I know she would love. Oh, the pages have colors in them, or just purple splatter in the corner. I got them both, these little owl lip balms. So I thought these were cute. I got this e.l.f. lip gloss for the freshman. She's recently starting to wear makeup. I don't want to be the family member that's getting her makeup too early when she, 
when other family members don't think that she should be wearing it so I thought a lip gloss would be fine and then for the younger one I got her this Smackers lip balm this does have holiday packaging and it is Kiwi Berry Crush also for the younger one I got her this adorable keychain they had um like tons of like different kinds of dogs and there was a cat too and it does bark and Chip is here he's probably gonna go a little bit crazy when I show this you see him <laughs> okay so that's what that sounds like Chip out of here also for the younger one I got her this really cute fuzzy pen excuse me he's looking for that toy and he's also mesmerized probably by this chippy go on get boy get I also got the younger one this fuzzy pen it looks like a little duck or something and I thought that this would just be something that she would like hopefully it's hard to know what kids these days would like um just because everything is like so like tech you know like cell phones and social media and stuff so um i would have liked this at her age but I don't, we'll see if she does also for her and i already showed this in a previous video i got her this little hey stop i got her this little sign that says stay fresh um somebody commented that I called this like a stocking stuffer, the other things in that haul stocking stuffers, but they were too big to be stocking stuffers. I think this will fit. Um, it could kind of, I mean, it could fit in there, but I'll probably put it in a separate little bag. That's what my mom would do. She would overbuy things for our stocking stuffers and then stop chip she would put the things that didn't fit in the stocking in like an extra little bag like a christmas bag and she would give it to us together so i have a feeling that is what i'm gonna end okay, up also doing. for the girls i found these nail stickers i got them these last year and i know that they like them because they immediately put them on christmas day when you know everyone was hanging out so i thought this one was cute for the high schooler black and gold and then this one is a little bit more fun for the younger one actually I wonder if I got her this one last year this one looks very familiar to me we'll see I also found the Sally Hansen what are these called nail effects these are also nail stickers so for the older one I got her this kind of like champagne rose gold um, fishnet or scale looking one and then for the younger one she I feel like this is so her it's like checkered black and white she's a little bit like edgy I guess so um, I'm sure she'll like that to go along with it I also got them nail kits for the older one I got her this one I feel like this is good for a purse or something and she does carry a purse so I thought that would be good for her and then for the younger one I got her this one it's kind of the same thing the only difference between the two of these is this one comes in like a cute little soft compact that has tweezers also and this one doesn't have the tweezers but it is in a plastic case and then lastly for them I got them these um, pens and pencils I hauled these already but um, those were for myself I picked up two more packs one for each of them they're just really cute trendy little pencils and um, I know that they're both going to like these now moving on to the boys like I said three-year-old seven-year-old and then eighth grader and the eighth grader was just so hard to shop for we're gonna have to just like buy him a little something extra besides like what's in his stocking just to kind of even out that the other kids are getting a little bit more because it just there's not a lot for him at Dollar Tree so for him though I did find this little impression kit um, it is our impression our impression of Guy LaRoche. I don't know. I should have looked. I didn't. I just grabbed one that looked like, I don't know. So I got him this. Uh, for the eight-year-old, I got him this. I'm probably going to fill it up with those lollipops that I showed you. Also for the eight-year-old, I got him this dry erase board. It does come with a marker with an eraser. There is a string in the back and it is Batman. Um, themed and I don't know what superheroes he likes so 
I kind of got him a mix of superhero stuff and hopefully he's not too old for that. I just, I don't know. I actually don't know him very well either. For the young one, I got him this puzzle set. This is like a puzzle to go. It's Paw Patrol with 24 pieces. This is for five and up, but um, this is something that him and his mom can do. I, I will let her know that some of the things that we got for him are for a little bit older, but um, she, she knows and she uh, plays with his toys with him. So this will be something that they can do together. I also found this. This is a blow up and bop it balloon. It's also Paw Patrol and this is for ages three and up. So this is good for him. That's what it looks like and it's just one of those balloons that you blow up and you just go like that with. So I could see him running around on Christmas hitting people with this. Can't you see Max running around hitting people with this balloon? Yeah. Jose gave me the thumbs up. For the eight year old, I got him these little um, kits. I actually got Jose, so Jose has a nephew and a brother who live in another country. I got his other um, nephew these too. So um, this one is a plane. And this one is a bulldozer. They are ages eight and up and him and his dad can put these together. Um, together. Also for the eight-year-old, I got him this Avengers um, little school kit. It's a stationary set pouch. It includes a ruler, an eraser, a pencil sharpener, a pencil, and the pouch. So, I don't know. For the three-year-old, I got him sticker sets. He likes Mickey Mouse, so I got him Mickey Mouse. And then, of course, I got him Paw Patrol. I wanted to pick him up like a little notepad to put these in, but um, I didn't I just didn't for whatever reason. I'm sure his mom has one or I will go out and get him one. For the oldest, um, I got him Family Feud. Uh, I could see him and his sister playing this and us doing this on Christmas when they open it up. So that is why I got him this. I think everything else is for the um, eight-year-old. So I got him these bracelets. Um, they're just glow-in-the-dark bracelets they can play with. I also got him this glow-in-the-dark ball. It's a bouncy ball and it says it lasts for hours. I got him this straw that has a sucker on the top. Hopefully his mom doesn't get mad that we're giving him candy. Um, but, you know, I think it's safe to just let the parents know beforehand what's in the stocking. And if they don't want their kids to have some of that stuff, they can take it out. So anyways, I got him this. Again, I don't know him very well, so it was hard kind of to shop for him. I also got him one of these puzzles. This is a 50-piece one. So this is for kids that are a little bit older, and it is Star Wars. Um, and it does come in the little tin, so that's cool. And he can, like, put little things in here when he's done. And then the last item that I got for him and Jose and I want to crack into this so bad and keep it for ourselves is this clay, um, modeling clay set. So you do get 12 sticks of clay and I used to love playing with clay when I was little and then like baking it in the oven. So they do have this at Dollar Tree. It's much more expensive at like Walmart. Um, I don't know if he'll like this or not, but I picked it up and yeah, so that is everything. This video actually did end up being pretty long as I thought it would be. Um, yeah, so I did go a little bit crazy on stocking stuffers, but there are five kids. That's about it. So we do have like three more videos of 12 Days of Christmas. Two of them are going to be home decor tours. And then the last one, I'm not quite sure just yet what that's going to be. Let me know. Do you want to see like a wrapping like how to wrap presents really cute with Dollar Tree supplies or other affordable like wrapping papers and stuff or do you want to see a vlog do you want to see a recipe let me know um, put your request if you have any otherwise I will just decide myself and I will see you back in my next video bye guys